Welcome to Electron Online and now let's take a look and see how the angular width of the central maximum or for that matter the general shape of the of what we call that fraction pattern, the width of that fraction pattern depends upon the slit width. Of course it depends on the slit width, it depends on the wavelength, but for a given wavelength as the slit width changes how does the central maximum width change? How does the diffraction pattern changes? So since we calculated on the previous video that the the angular size of the central maximum is equal to alpha which is twice the lookup angle and we know that theta can be calculated to be lambda divided by a so therefore we calculated that when a the slit width was 0.1 millimeter for a wavelength of 500 nanometers the angular size was 0.573 degrees for that central maximum now what happens when a becomes bigger well when a becomes bigger we divide by a bigger number in the denominator that means we'll get a smaller number if a becomes 10 times the size we divide by a number that's 10 times as big so the angle is going to be 10 times as small which means that the angular size will now be 0.0573 degrees and then if we make the slit with 10 millimeters which of course is a whole centimeter which is pretty big when it when we relate it to the wavelength of light then you can see that the central maximum becomes 0.0053 degrees and what happens to the diffraction pattern it squeezes down to something very small where you can no longer see I just noticed that we made a mistake here so this should be 573 degrees I forgot my 773 degrees there we go and so as I was saying is as the slit width gets bigger the diffraction pattern shrinks to the point where you can no longer see the individual features of the diffraction pattern it all kind of meshes together so this shows that the diffraction pattern pretty well disappears as the slit width gets bigger this goes hand in hand with the concept that that the slit width needs to be somewhat in, in, in uh, same, somewhat same in size as the actual wavelength of light otherwise the diffraction pattern does not exist now what happens when the slit width becomes very very narrow then the diffraction pattern widens tremendously notice when we go from 0.1 millimeter to 0.01 millimeter we divide by a number that's 10 times as small therefore the angular size becomes 10 times as big and then you can see that the angle would be 5.73 degrees for the size of the central maximum and then when the slit width gets really small down to 1 1,000 of a meter uh, of a millimeter which is one micrometer then the then the angular size becomes 57.3 degrees and then you can see that there would not be much of a diffraction pattern because then almost the central maximum would take up a huge angle it would be a very large angular size so you can see that there's a tremendous effect to slit width and angular size of the central maximum or in general the shape of the diffraction pattern so very interesting to note that it does depend a lot upon the relative size of the slit and the wavelength of the, of the radiation that we use. And that's how we do that.